Hi everyone. What I have to do here is a um, three or four undercoats of a really good quality material. Set. I have to start thinking about um, my foreground. Now behind these, there's some Apollo horses going in up here. Behind, behind the horses there's a row of trees and this dark shadow line is actually the, well it's the shadow line along the ground up below the trees. Now where these horses are running that aren't painted yet <laughs> Picking up a little bit of uh, soil and grass, you know, as they run. Now these little guys just here, these will become apparent later. Now when I'm finished, I'm going to put another one just there and see how many days it takes. Now I'm getting through this, this is all under underbrush or these dark areas are just um, all in shadow. I've been drawing in the outline of these um, riders, this polo horses here. jumper this jersey on this rider just doing this shadowy bit where the light is coming down from this side we'll see on the helmet there so this part of the shoulder is actually quite dark now I'm just in the process of changing this color because I knew I just wasn't happy with it this, this purpley color is not right about what, I just about forgot what colour I was using. I go back to the pot, to the uh, to the uh, all my paint so rapidly. Sometimes I just about forget where I am. Well, I've got to put that uh, highlight lot white in my hand. Sometimes it just don't work when you yeah, you see that's moulded in too quickly. I'll have to wait till it's dry. Too much white. Now with these, um, I'm not sure whether you can see on camera, 
there's a, there's, a, there's a stick bend just here. This is a straight one. This is the one that comes out of this guy's glove. This, is, this will be straight, but it's a lot shorter because it's bent further. Now this here, got too much on the brush. This here is the light side of the polo stick. Just going to try and talk my way through this. And there we go, right down, right down on top of the glove or the first finger. That's the first finger there, you know, the, the bend. And a little bit out the bottom of the glove too, so I haven't forgotten that bit. Now I'm just putting in, I mean, I hope you can actually see this. Um, it's really, really small. Just the odd little highlight, which means there may be a mark on the stick that maybe the timber or the... I can't talk when I'm doing fine stuff. These are, um, these are pads on the rider's knees and I'm just having to uh, very carefully, although well, it's a big painting, these um, graduated shade lines down there. That's the back of the horse just here. Yeah, there's, uh, there's where I'm at, but I'm actually just down in here doing this um, rider's pads on his left knee. Basic uh, base horse colour for this animal is actually kind of a. That's it there. Now I'm having issues with. Uh, the shady portion of the second horse. Okay, I've moved on to horse number three. One, two, three. I'm actually starting with the. Um, uh, where are we? Right here. Starting with that, this colour here, that's the base colour. Now these lines in here, well this darker green, it's actually uh, actually part of the shadow line on the ground. Now I'm getting fairly close to this, um, to the end of this last horse, polo pony, whichever. Food. This is the um, this is the horse's head. This is the side of his nose. There's two nostrils right there. One, two. This has got a very white, um, very light side. <coughs> the horse, of course, the sun's down here. It's a shady side. But this is all very. Um, this is all very light. But again, that, there's an eye, that little white thing there. I'm actually having the last few strokes of completing this. I've got to do a few highlights around the strapping here. Just around here. I think I'm pretty close. Now I put this little piece of tape there because I'm going to put one of the last things that actually I do with a lot of paintings lately, I'm not sure why, but um, I just had to put that bit of tape there so I could get it marked in the, uh, on the, in the camera lens. Normally,
think that'll do, maybe five. Uh, that'll do. I can take this off now. And that's going to produce. If I can get over this bit. A nice clean line. So there we have it. <laughs>